Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered how many suns are out there? Picture this. Our own sun, that glorious celestial body that graces our daytime sky, is but a speck in the cosmic sea. Yes, you heard it right. Our sun, though it might seem unique to us, is just one of many stars scattered across the universe. As we stand here on Earth, we are merely spectators to a celestial ballet of countless stars, each one a sun in its own right, each one the heart of a distant solar system. Just as our sun is the life-giving center of our solar system, so too are these distant stars central to their own planetary families. It's a thought that both humbles and excites us, isn't it? So let's dive headfirst into the cosmic ocean. Let's embark on a journey beyond our solar system to uncover the countless suns scattered across the universe. Imagine the universe as an endless ocean and each star as a sun, just like ours. Yes, you heard it right. Each twinkling star that adorns the night sky is a sun in itself, a beacon of light and warmth, a cradle for possible life forms, and a cosmic lighthouse guiding and influencing the celestial bodies that revolve around it. Now let's try to comprehend the vastness of this universe, our cosmic home. It's so vast that even our most advanced technology can barely scratch the surface of its infinite expanse. The universe is believed to be home to approximately two trillion galaxies. Yes, that's trillion with a T, a number so enormous that it's hard to wrap our heads around it. Each of these galaxies is a sprawling metropolis of stars. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is estimated to contain between 200 billion and 400 billion stars. Some galaxies are even more densely packed, boasting a staggering trillion stars. Each star, each sun, is a unique entity, a glowing sphere of hot plasma held together by its own gravity. It's a cosmic powerhouse generating heat and light through the nuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium. And the most amazing part? Each of these stars, or suns, has the potential to be the center of its own planetary system. Just like our sun is the heart of our solar system, there could be countless other suns out there, each with its own family of planets, moons, and asteroids. When we consider the scale of the universe and the number of galaxies it contains, and then ponder over the fact that each galaxy is home to millions, billions, or even trillions of stars, we begin to realize the staggering number of suns that exist out there. So, with this in mind, can we even begin to count the number of suns? Trying to count the number of suns in the universe is akin to trying to count the grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. An astonishing statement, isn't it? But when we talk about the vastness of the universe, this comparison somehow seems appropriate. Imagine for a moment the Herculean task of quantifying the number of stars in the universe. It's not just about looking up at the night sky and counting the twinkling lights. It's about grappling with the sheer scale of the cosmos, the mind-boggling distances and the enormity of numbers that are far beyond our usual comprehension. So, how do astronomers even begin to tackle this? Well, it starts with a small patch of the sky. Astronomers observe a tiny, seemingly insignificant part of the night sky, meticulously cataloging every star they can detect in that small area. They then extrapolate this data to the entire sky, taking into account the differences in star density across various parts of the universe. But even this method has its limitations. We can only observe a fraction of the universe from our vantage point here on Earth. The observable universe is like a bubble around us, extending about 46.5 billion light years in all directions. Beyond that bubble, there's more universe, perhaps infinite universe, that we can't see. So our estimation is fundamentally limited to the observable universe. And even within this bubble, there are regions obscured by dust, gas and other celestial bodies. Hence, the count can never be entirely accurate, but rather a well-informed estimate. Now, let's add another layer of complexity. Stars are born and die every day. The universe is a dynamic, ever-changing entity. This means the number of stars is constantly fluctuating, adding another layer of uncertainty to our calculations. 
After all these considerations, what's the best estimate we have? Brace yourselves. Scientific estimates suggest that there are around one septillion, that's a one with 24 zeros, suns in the observable universe. A number so large, it's almost impossible to comprehend. And remember, this is just an estimate. The actual number could be much, much more. In the grand scheme of the universe, our sun is just one among countless others. Now that might sound a bit humbling, and truthfully, it is. But it's also incredibly fascinating. Our sun, this familiar life-giving beacon, is in many ways an average star. It's a type G star, a classification that includes about 7.6% of all stars in the Milky Way. It's neither the smallest nor the largest. It's middle-aged and it's yellowish-white in color. But while our sun might be somewhat average, the universe is teeming with a diverse array of stars, each with its own unique characteristics. Some stars are giants, dwarfing our sun in size and brightness. These include red giants, which expand to a size up to a hundred times that of the sun, and supergiants, which can be even larger. Then there are the tiny stars, the white dwarfs, which are only about the size of Earth, but pack a punch with their density. They're the remnants of stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel, yet they continue to shine for billions of years. And let's not forget the neutron stars, incredibly dense and spinning rapidly. They are the remnants of supernova explosions. And they're so dense that a sugar cube sized amount of neutron star material would weigh about as much as a mountain. In terms of color, the universe is like a cosmic rainbow. There are red, orange, yellow, white, and blue stars. The color of a star is determined by its surface temperature, with red being the coolest and blue being the hottest. Our sun, with its comforting, warm glow, is special to us. It provides the energy that powers life on Earth. But when we look up at the night sky, we're reminded that our sun is just one among a multitude. So, while our sun is special to us, it is just one of the multitude of suns in the universe. Each star we see is a sun, each with its own unique story to tell, each a part of the grand cosmic tapestry that is our universe. The sheer number of suns in the universe is truly mind-boggling. We've journeyed together through the expanse of our universe, touched on the scale that surpasses our imagination, and we've delved into the Herculean task of estimating the number of suns that light up the cosmos. We've discovered that our sun, as majestic and crucial as it is to our existence, is but one among an estimated 200 billion trillion stars. It's an awe-inspiring realization, isn't it? Each star, a potential sun, with its unique set of characteristics, its distinct life cycle, and its own set of planets revolving around it. And who knows? Some of those planets might even harbor life as we know it, or perhaps life as we can't even begin to comprehend yet. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember each twinkling star you see could be a sun with its own set of planets and potentially life. The universe indeed is a sea of suns.